Michaela Chester here for NCAA Digital. I am joined by Penn State Volleyball head coach Katie schumacher Colley, taking over the head coaching position now from legendary head coach Russ Rose. I mean, you're the third coach in 46 years in the program. You were a student athlete at Penn State, a national champion, an All-American, and now being named head coach of the program. What was that moment like for you? Look, uh, it, you know, it's... Uh... It was unbelievable, super exciting. And, you know, no one can replace Coach Rose. And I'm just really fortunate to have had the opportunity to come back and, you know, not only play for him, but to coach with him and to uh, be a part of it. So you mentioned you did coach for him. You were an assistant coach for four years. What is the biggest thing that you took away from him now heading into this position? You know, I think, you know, Coach worked so hard and did everything he could for this program. And I just, I just saw it every day and I admired that about him and that, you know, every day it was, you know, making efforts to make this program better, to help the athletes. Um, you know, he, he is Mr. Penn state and, and did everything he could for this program. And that's something that, you know, I, I, I saw every day and I, I cherish that. Has he given you any big pieces of advice now since you've become head coach? You know, it's funny. Everyone asks that. And, I, I, you know, for I learn something every day from coach. And it's, you know, it's not just one thing. It was, you know, our conversations about um, not just volleyball, my family, uh, my children. Um, but, you know, for me, you know, he always said, you know, be true to you, stay who you are. And, um, and, you know, that's something that, you know, he'll, he'll always keep saying so. So for PSU volleyball fans, there's a lot of new this year. They've known Coach Russ Rose for a long time, but what can they expect from you and how you're going to run this program? What would you say your coaching philosophy is? You know, uh, I mean, I want to honor the traditions and the legacy that, that he built, but also, um, you know, there's a lot of new things going on with student athletes these days and, you know, the, you know, the bigger picture, you know, winning and, and also being part of the community and the NIL and just academics, I think they have a lot on their plate. And so I think it's, um, for me, we're going to continue the tradition of the volleyball excellence, but also, you know, maybe make a bigger impact in the community and, and, um, and, and want to win again. Um, I think it's getting the student athletes here that want to be at Penn State because it is such a special place. Yeah, and mentioning those student athletes, there are a lot of players that we know well from last season that are no longer with the program where you lost to graduation. So it's going to be a lot of new this year, but what do you think we can expect for this year? What will we see? You know, I think I think you'll you'll see players that are going to go hard and that are going to enjoy the game and to be aggressive. And um, you know, the core group that's here, they they're working really hard and and they they want to, um, you know, they 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 want to be the best they can and they want to be ready to compete by fall. And um, you know, so we're working on things on and off the court that are going to get this team to gel. So I'm curious to hear this. A lot of people now know your name and you're taking over such a big volleyball powerhouse program, but what do people not know about you? Uh, well, I guess with social media, everyone knows everything these days. Right? Um, no, I, I don't know. Just that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a family person. I, I, I grew up on the South side of Chicago with a large family. And I think that, um, you know, I, I've been empowered by a lot of strong females in my life, and I'm, I'm lucky to, you know, be in this position to continue that and to help uh, young college athletes to, you know, figure out things for themselves, but also to get them on a path that they want to be successful and whether it's career or volleyball, just to, to be that influence. When it comes to this season, if people throw around the words rebuilding or anything like that, what do you guys think about that? Is that not something you want to hear? What do you label it as? You know, I label it as noise. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's noise. And, you know, the, the players, I don't think it's fair to say that to the players that are here. And I think that they're working very hard and, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to put some pieces together and 
I, I, I know we're going to do all that we can and, and put forth the best effort with this group. Absolutely. I'm, I'm certainly so excited to see it. My last one for you, coach, I want to ask about you again, personally, you know, a lot of great athletes sometimes don't find it so easy to become a great coach. What has that transition been like for you going from a great student athlete to now a great coach? You know, I, I think it's all about the experience and the people that you, you put around yourself. I, I think that I've been fortunate my whole life, um, to be on teams with a lot of really good players and a lot of really good people. And I think that I've, I've taken all of my experiences and, um, you know, I, I, I want to be the best too. And I think I'm always learning. Everyone's learning still, but I've surrounded myself with a excellent staff that want nothing but the best for this university and these players. And, um, you know, I'll give everything I have. Absolutely. Well, coach, thank you so much for your time. So excited for this season and congratulations. Thank you so much.